In the early 1890s, a group of brothers discovered iron ore in the dense woods of northern Minnesota. It was a vast jungle of pine, tamarack, spruce, ash, maple, cedar, and birch trees punctuated by a stony ridge that resembled the knotty spine of a sleeping giant. The Ojibwe natives called it Nibad Misabe. In summer, the bogs swarmed with black flies and hungry mosquitoes, and in winter, snow piled 15 feet high, the land white and frozen. In 1891, the ambitious brothers brought immigrants and natives together for a new mining venture. An Ojibwe Indian called Charlie and a Finnish immigrant named Arthur Mackey walked through the dense woods to a rocky outcropping at the edge of a cliff. Shadows stretched across the tops of the trees as Charlie waved his arm over the valley. Missa Bay, Charlie said. Arthur, Charlie, and a French fur trader named Richardson carved a town from the trees. Immigrants from all over Europe, picks and shovels in their calloused hands, opened great yawning pits in the earth. This is where fortunes, futures, and families would be lived and lost where men moved mountains. We woke the giant, Charlie said, and I don't think he'll ever go back to sleep.